Hey, this is Sham for Gifts of Skill, and I'm bringing you a different deck profile this time. This time, it is not a card fight Vanguard. Now, the reason why I'm doing one of these is because I just watched CV Tsukiyomi's video. Hi, CV Tsukiyomi. Um, on his new standard Magic deck. Um, I'm very glad that he's into Magic, because I think it's a very fun game. Um, I hope he watches this, and um, and if he does, uh, I'll say that you might want to try playing Modern, because um, in Standard, there's a lot of rotations and crap, so it's probably going to drive you away from the game, if anything. But, anywho, uh, so in, I don't play Standard, I play Modern, so this is uh, my Modern deck. Um, I play Affinity, so I will start off with my creatures. Play 4 Ornithopter. Um, this card is uh, zero to cast O2 um, with flying, so he has two. So uh, for anyone who, or you guys who don't play Magic, you can just look at the pretty cards. Wait, I'll, I'll lower it so you can see what the cards are better. Okay. Right. So uh, yeah, so it's zero to cast, so it doesn't, you don't have to pay mana. You just play it from your hand. So this card is very important in this deck. I'm gonna play four Mem Knight. Um, he is also zero to cast. He's zero to cast one one. Um, once again, uh, very low mana cost. In fact, it doesn't cost mana. So these are very very useful in this deck because of um, how little lands I can run the deck off. For signal pest, uh, he's a uh, one to cast zero one with battle cry. So battle cry basically when he attacks, everything with that is attacking with him will get plus one plus zero. So he gets one attack stronger and zero toughness stronger. He cannot be blocked by anything without reach or flying. So he is basically a flying creature, but he cannot block flying. Which you don't want him to block anyways. Play four Vault Scourge. Um, he is two to cast. One colorless and one Phyrexian black. So for, uh, for Phyrexian black, um, basically it costs either one black mana or two life so two life is really much nothing for something like this so essentially it's a one to cast one one flying lifelink and every time you deal damage with this card you heal the same amount of damage you dealt which is what lifelink is so so many good cards in this deck two arcbound ravager is uh he's one of the key cards um his ability is when he comes into play when you play him you can put a 1-1 counter on him, and when he dies, you can put its 1-1 counters on something else. His secondary effect is sacrifice him, and put a 1-1, one, one, sacrifice an artifact, put a 1-1 one, one counter on himself. So, which basically means if people don't block this card, you can eat up your whole field and put all the power to him. And even if they kill him, you can also put this to put the power to something else. So it's not really wasted. So this card is very, very good. I only play two because I'm kind of cheap about it, but I'm probably going to pick up some more. Play four Steel Overseer. Um, this card is a two to cast one one. Um, you can tap him to give plus one plus one to all artifact creatures you control. And this is a counter, so it lasts forever. So every turn your cards get one one stronger. So he is a very, very strong card. Um, a bit slow but still very good. For Cranial Plating, uh, this is an artifact equipment. Um, it's two to cast, and it's one to equip. It's, a, it's equip effect is this card gains plus one plus zero for each artifact you control. Now, as you can see, anything that is colorless is indeed an artifact, or sometimes even with color. So every creature in this deck is an artifact creature, which gives it the affinity of artifact. So if I say I have three artifacts on my field, the target card gets plus three plus zero. Now, you can normally play this on turn one, if not turn two. Definitely turn two if you have it in your hand. And um, by that time, you probably have like six, seven artifacts, if not more. So your card is getting plus seven, plus zero. So you're like, yeah... Okay, what is that? So what does that mean? So that means if I put it on this dude, I can attack for nine one, gain nine life and deal nine damage if he doesn't have something that in the air. So um, this is this card is really really strong, uh, but you know, 
Got to draw it. That's the problem. <laughs> Play four edge champion. He's really slow. He's three to cast. That is a lot of mana. Like actually, that is a lot of mana for this deck. Um, you don't want to spend a lot of mana for a single card, but he basic he can win games by himself. Um, he has the ability Metalcraft. If if you have three or more artifacts on your field. Um, Etch Champion gains protection from all color, which means if they have a colored spell, he cannot be targeted by it. But if it's a board wipe, like something that destroys everything on your field, then he will die. If, say, they have a 50-50 green giant thing, you can block it with Etch Champion, and Etch Champion will be fine, because it has color. So he will not be hurt at all. So he will not take any damage, but you can still block it. So... Edge Champion is real, realistically a very strong card. Um, a bit slow for the format I'm playing in, but um, still very, 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 very good. Play three Frogmite. Uh, this card is four to cast, but it has affinity for artifacts. Which affinity affinity for artifacts means that it says on the card actually. Um, this card costs one colorless less to play for each artifact you control. So he will be a 1 to cast or 0 to cast most of the time. So he is um, a 2-2, two -two, so 0 to cast 2-2 two -two is very, very strong. Now, um, on to some other cards. Just going to keep these guys here. Actually, no, you guys can go away. Yeah, you guys can stay up there. Now, um, for spells, I play 4 Galvanic Blast. This is a 1 to cast card. It deals 2 damage to target creature or player. And has metal craft. If you have three or more artifacts, this card deals four damage instead. So one to cast four damage is really, really powerful. It's about as strong as any burn spell. I think. I think this is the strongest one to cast burn spell there is. I think it is. I'm not sure. There might be some crazy legacy stuff. And to play three thought cast. Um, this is a five to cast five, but it has affinity for artifact, which means that it costs once again one less colorless for each card you control. Most of the time, it's a one to cast, um, and you one to cast, draw two cards. It's very, very good. Because um, since all your cards are artifacts, you're going to have a lot of them. <laughs> so uh, For land, I play four Ink Moth Nexus. Uh, this land gives you one colorless mana when you tap it. You can pay one mana, and this card becomes a 1-1 one, one Blink Moth artifact creature with flying and infect. So, um, that's a mouthful. So, uh, what does it do? So, he's your, it's a land, and then you pay one, so you tap this one, and then he becomes a creature, a 1-1 one, one flying, um, with Infect. Now, what is Infect, for people who don't know? Infect is basically a different f uh, win condition. If your opponent uh, loses all his life, he loses, or if he has, he has 10 poison counters, which are given by Infect. So, you attack for this. He is a 1-1, one, one, whatever. Remember this card? He is now like, I don't know, 9-1. Nine, nine Damn. He is almost dead. So, um, yeah. Well, this card is a very good backup plan. Since he is also a land, he cannot get board wiped or targeted by like a spell that is not activated instantly. So, yeah. This is a good alternate win condition. I play 4 Darksteel Citadel. Uh, this card is an artifact land, so it counts as an artifact. It is indestructible, which is whatever, and um, it taps for one colorless. So, real, uh, you just it's just good because it's an artifact land. Uh, so yeah, I play four mountain and three uh, three three mountain and three islands. Uh, basically, because I run a little bit of red, a little bit of blue, just decided to splash a few. If I were to be um, rich about this, I'd play four glimmer void. Which is basically, it gives color of any mana for you. And it, as long as you have an artifact. But those are quite expensive, so. so we're gonna move on. And for mana acceleration, uh, play three Springleaf Drum. Uh, this card, tap one untapped creature you control, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. This helps me cast things like Thought Cast and Galvanic Blast, because all my land, except for the basic ones, only produce colorless. So, yeah, uh, one to cast, it's pretty good. And Mox Opal. This card is zero to cast. Um, tap, add one color of any mana you can, any mana, uh, one, one mana of any color to your mana pool. 
as long as you control three or more artifacts. You have to have three or more artifacts. You tap, you get any color mana for zero to cast. It was a good card. So yeah, um, I'm very glad that CV Tsukiyomi uh, is playing Magic. I hope he enjoys it. I like Magic. Um, I, yeah, that <laughs> don't need to explain myself there. I, I do like Magic. It feels very fun. Um, and yeah, I hope he enjoys it, and I hope you guys enjoy magic too. Hey, magic! Yeah, bye! <laughs>